when you hear a loud sound from the kitchen, what do you do? Before you get to the answer, this is Narvada Rao, psychologist and an NLP trainer, and you're watching Master Yourself Academy's YouTube channel. Welcome to this edition. So, back to the question. If your mother or your wife or your daughter or somebody or your husband, somebody is in the kitchen and you hear a loud sound from the kitchen, what do you do? Do you sit where you are and shout out saying, is everything okay? Do you want me to come? Or do you immediately rush to go and see what happened? Think about it and be true to yourself. If you're someone who sits and shouts out from where you are saying, what happened? Do you need anything? Is everything okay? What does that show about you? And on the other hand, if you're someone who immediately rushes to the kitchen to see if everything is okay, what does that say about you too? Oftentimes we think these are the small things and they don't really matter, but these are the small things that actually make a big difference. And these are the small unspoken things. People don't come and complain about these because they're too trivial and you might just brush them off if they were to talk about it. Hence they don't. But these are the things that stay in their mind in a very different way. For example, if let's say your wife was cooking and you know you hear a loud sound and you rush to see what happened is everything okay are you all right now your wife will think you're actually very concerned about her and she'd really feel loved and cared for in that moment if you were to sit in the same chair that you were sitting and i'm busy warming the seat i'm actually doing something very important on my laptop yes i hear there's a loud sound but wouldn't you tell me if you want me to come? So let me just shout from here and say, are you okay? If you are if you shout saying you're not okay, maybe I'll come. If I don't hear anything, maybe I'll come or whatever may the, be the case. When, that, when you do that, you're sometimes giving out a signal that they are not as important or you care for them, but not as much that you wake up from your seat and go to check on them. And these are those things that make a difference. Your wife will never come and complain to you saying, you know, that day the sound came and you never came and looked up and you didn't even ask me if everything was okay. They are never going to talk about it because if they do talk about it, what are you going to respond to them? You're most likely to say, oh, come on, such small things don't make a ruckus about it. So these are those things that people are most afraid to talk about. But these are the things that weigh them down because these are the actual points which show whether you truly, truly care or not. When nobody is around, when you don't have guests at home, when it's just two people in the house and one person is somewhere and you hear a loud sound and if you're not rushing to see if everything is all right, that does say something, right? Is that what you want them to think? Is that how you want them to feel? If that's not how you want them to feel, wake up from that place, check on them, see what's happening. It's a very, very simple trivia, but these are things that can make a huge difference to your relationships and how you make people feel. And see, how would you want to feel if you were in that place as well? So think about what kind of responses are you giving to those small little so-called insignificant things in your life, in other people's lives. See if you're responding to them. Simple things like somebody won an award. Do you just go and hit a like on Facebook or do you actually take time to congratulate them? Think about if someone has uh, achieved something, do you take time to celebrate it or do you say, ah, it's okay, big deal. If they come and approach me, then I'm going to say something about it. A like is always not the same thing as the comment. When you're hitting like, think about it. If you have 250 likes, are you likely to go and look at all the 250 people who hit likes and are you go likely to go and respond to them and register? No, right? You're more likely to look at all the comments that people have made. Even if you have 250 comments, you are very likely to go through all the comments and respond to them either in one go or individually, whatever be the case. But at least they have taken the time and effort to reply to you. So it is these small things that make a difference. You might think hitting a like is very easy and you know it's done. It looks like I'm congratulating them. But no, there's a difference. If you're genuinely caring about the other person, you will take that one small little extra step. Between a like and a congratulations, it takes only three seconds extra. But those three seconds can actually make your relationships much stronger. Think about how are you replying or responding or reacting to people and situations in your life. How are you making people feel? It is not what you say, it is what you do that matters a lot more. 
So think about whether your actions and your words are aligned. When you say I love you, do your actions also show that you love them? If not, what would you want to do differently so that you show people how much you care for them? And it's a short life and it's just one. You might want to live it up fully, right? And you never know when is the last moment for you or for the other person. So never take life and people whom you love for granted. Please make sure you show people more than you say. Show people how much you care through your actions and spread the love and feel the love and be blessed and take care of yourself. If you like what you've watched, please hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or something that you would like us to talk about, please drop in a note to us through our website, www.masteryourself.in. And if you want to join one of our NLP programs, please hit an inquiry to us and we shall get back to you at the earliest. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Take care.